Hello, 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 everybody. How are you? This is Rajat here from Startup Frat, bringing you the super special session three of the product packaging secrets training that I promised you last week. Okay. Uh, hi, Harish. How are you? Great to see. Great to see you around, man. I'm just kind of uh, put, going into my phone again and again to 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 see you guys and hear you guys. So if you're here, just say hi to me. Just let me know where all you're logging in from. Okay. So for the people who are new in the Hangout, uh, my name is Rajat and I'm in Pune. And I would love to know where whereabouts you guys are logging in from. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about today. This is this is session three. So basically, <clears throat> so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, uh, you know, we're going to talk about what are some of the product line secrets. Okay, the the business is definitely done through sales and marketing. That is definitely our funda here in life, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know what we also know is that. If you go to market with the same old product lines, especially if you have just like just one product line or something, this is what we do. Then uh, you know doing business is going to be difficult because it's a minefield out there. We are an oversupplied market today. We are uh, uh, you know we're at, we're at a stage where nothing you nothing you produce is unique. Nothing you bring to the market is unique because there's always hundreds of players. And in, in addition to that, if you have a product line in the market that is a hard product line, which is manufactured or retailed by you, then you're competing straight with Amazon and Chinese, <laughs> Chinese manufacturing. So nothing that you do is unique. Let's start with that. And then let's figure out how we can work from that angle and create a product line that can dominate in the market. Okay, so let me know if you can get started and Let's just get tracking. Okay. Welcome, 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 Chan. Great to see you here, my friend. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's get started. Now, why do you need to approach via the multi product environment? Why do you need to approach via the multi product environment? And uh, let me just give, give me a quick second so I know that you guys are able to see what I'm able to see. <laughs> okay. Why are you able to why are you able to approach via the multi product environment via multi product environment? That is because a multi product environment gives you flexibility. What is flexibility? Depending on what the market wants, you're able to offer different different product lines. You're able to control what product you promote. Especially if you go slightly high ticket, if you go upwards of five thousand rupee products, you know ten thousand rupee products, then what you need to do is you need to have multiple product lines in order to figure out where the customer stands in order to test out. The customers, um, you know, in order uh, to to understand the customers' uh, comfort level with your price points, right? Uh, comfort level with your price points, and in order to, while you're doing the sell job, <laughs> you know, in order to have a variety for them to choose from, because customers will rarely, before taking a decision, which is five thousand, ten thousand rupees, rarely ever go for the one product. <laughs> that you present. In fact, if you're if you're into sales or if you if you have your own business, if you're an entrepreneur that is driving their own company, you will know that the moment you present your own product, the moment you present the product, and you know start talking about the features and benefits, the couple of things that go to a customer's mind are okay. Let me go to Google and research about this. Let me go to Amazon and find out if I have other products like it. Okay, and then they want to know well how our customers. How are customers using this? You know, are they happy, not happy? What are the ratings? Ratings, etc., given by Amazon or Google. You can have a Google rating, Amazon rating. Then they want to understand, okay, what is the technology behind it? You know, what is the origin? Are there any other players, competitors, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. All sorts of questions start appearing in a customer's mind. So if you have different different products that you can promote to them, or if you have all of those different types of products that they are, they are comparing you against under one umbrella, even if they may not be your own products, even if there are third party products that you're promoting under your own roof, then that really gives you a, a huge edge, right? Uh, the third thing is it helps you reduce discounts. It helps you reduce discounts because what you can do is you can bring if they want to spend less, you can bring them to a lower end product. They don't want to spend more. You can bring them to a higher end product. You can combine the products to create different different op offers. The fourth point is it helps you overcome objections. Helps you overcome objections. What is that? Hey Pratap, welcome, welcome, welcome. It helps you overcome objections. What is overcoming objections when they start? 
diving into the the features benefits and price features benefits and price then you can you can bring in different different products from under your umbrella in order to bring that comfort to them i'm going to show it to you in a real life scenario today and i have a resource that is mentioned below every slide which is startafrad.club/product that's our master class where you can go and learn about how uh, you know you can combine different sorts of products together and what kind of success level different people in the startafrad community have had doing this okay the last one is how to grow average customer value in a controlled environment remember the the game the name of the game today is growing average customer value it's not about whether you sell a product or not it's not about whether you make a profit on it or not the game is can you using different different products can you over a period of time gain customer confidence so that you become the go to person of choice for whatever problem they want to solve with a particular product line right so in order to do that to gain confidence you need to have multiple variations of you know different different products that help them achieve the 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 result that they want to achieve which is why they they are looking for products uh you know they're looking to buy in the first place okay so all of these different different points i'm just going to walk through all of those giving you scenarios etc in the next few, few slides so just stay tuned and take notes and if you're here live just give me a hi in the comments box let me know where you're from so i can call out your name cuz you know it's a little difficult <laughs> trying to hit that i button and figuring out you know who all are watching okay okay what to sell now broadly if you are into business you will have one among four types of scenarios you will have one among four types of scenarios what are these scenarios the first scenario is you will either be selling a product or a commodity okay a product or a commodity which basically means a hard product or commodity that you typically sell off a storefront whether you have a hard storefront whether you have a shop to sell it from or whether you have an e store or something right a hard product or commodity and by commodity i mean is typically less than maybe 2000 3000 5000 rupees it's a simple decision for the customer take it or leave it whether they're browsing your shop on amazon or whether they walk by your shop in a mall or something you know they this it's a simple decision for them right so product or commodity the second thing is you could be selling a service okay you could be selling it services you could be selling individually you could be selling professional services if you're a doctor lawyer chartered accountant architect something like that so you're selling a service the third thing is you're selling you're selling knowledge if you're like a coach consultant author or something like that okay you're selling knowledge and the fourth thing is you're selling a result what is selling a result if you're a dsa for a mutual fund company what essentially you're doing is you're selling a result the product does not belong to you but you're telling the prospect that if you invest you know 5 lakh rupees in this fund for a period of 3 years you will potentially make more than the inflation rate is going to get you more than the fd rate is going to get you right so what you're doing is you're promising a result if you're an insurance salesman okay sales person sales woman okay what you're doing is you're saying okay if you invest in lic or whatever it is 15000 rupees of premium a year you know then any time god forbid something happens to your family is going to get why amount of money that's what you're selling a result if you're a multi level marketer or something and anybody who sells third party products you're essentially selling the result because the product does not belong to you so you're saying okay buy this product and this is going to give you this result okay so you're selling a result even if you're into uh you know uh, selling personal training services and things like that you're essentially selling a result saying if you follow what i tell you you will be leaner you know you lose body mass and things like that what body fat and things like that okay so you're either into product selling or commodity selling or your services selling these are your own services if you're a doctor or a chartered accountant or if you if you have a small company like it services or something like that uh or you're into knowledge selling or you're into result selling which is all the dsas multi level marketers etc do we have any dsas or multi level marketers in the house just give me a hi in the comments box just write mlm or dsa okay awesome vivek hi pradeep welcome 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 guys welcome okay next <clears throat> now i'm going to give you a grid <laughs> yeah i'm going to give you a grid you need to start thinking in terms of this grid you need to start thinking in terms of this grid because money is not the only thing on the planet okay money is not the only thing you have different different levers that you can pull in order to reach where you want to go which is complete domination in the market and all of these three variables will help you okay the first variable is r what is r it is returns returns is how much money you stand to make how much money in how much money out in a job i have written returns are plus because you know today in a job you have lots of jobs that are going to mncs multinational companies these companies earn in dollars and pounds and they pay you hefty salaries in rupees it's not uncommon to have a salary of 30 lakh 40 lakh 50 lakh a year today right so the returns are pretty good 
okay and then in manufacturing and then professional services i've given plus minus what is this how much money you put in how much money you put get out of it is today it's a little variable right even professional services like doctors lawyers chartered accountants you know it's it's not a whole lot of money if you're into private practice unless you're like the top dog in your industry or something like that cause cause there is a huge amount of oversupply of doctors lawyers chartered accountants uh you know in india huge amount of doctors lawyers chartered accountants oversupply okay oversupply now what is c what is the column c the column c is control how much control do you have over that income how much control do you have over that income how much control do you have that you can grow that income can you pull a couple of lever levers at, you know just you know do a little formula with your sales and marketing that kind of gets you more money okay in a job the control is zero and in today's time there was a time when um, you know highly Uh, when good project managers in IT companies were highly valued, but today it's not so because all of those skills have been taken over either by computers and softwares, or the labor has gone to cheaper countries like Vietnam and Philippines. Right? If any of you guys know my history, even uh, I was instrumental in having my company open up a Philippines operation because uh, you know the Indian operations were getting a little too expensive. Yeah. So Philippines, Vietnam, you know, different, different, even China, Hong Kong, etc. You know, you have Hong Kong is expensive, but you can get some pretty nifty uh, technology if you're a technology development company. You know, these these places are coming up, and over a period of time, it works out much more efficient than having it in India. So the control in job is where is low in a manufacturing and retail small business. The control is low. You know why? Because every time there's a riot, every time there's a mandate from the government, every time there's a bond or something, they ask you to close your shop. Yeah, you're the first one that goes under. Okay, in professional services, the control is higher. because if you have if you are very well known in your area you know then business will flow towards you in a knowledge business if you are a consultant coach or something like that the returns are relatively lesser the returns are relatively lesser but the control is higher because if you have uh, you know your customer base and all they are going to keep buying from you if you are selling results the return is negative if you see if you go hardcore into numbers right hardcore now i have sold home loan refinance i have also sold sold credit cards i have also sold uh, you know i also done a lot of mlm but i will tell you this that if you operate with the same tools and techniques that the industry ex expects you to operate which is keep showing the demo keep showing uh, meeting as many people as possible keep making those phone calls very few life insurance agents very few mlm people very few franchising people actually end up making a whole lot of money if you look at it as compared to working with an mnc the chances are 30 40% <laughs> that you will end up making good money about 20 lakhs a year the chances are literally like 2% that a life insurance as a life insurance sales person or as a multi level marketer you'll make 20 lakhs a year you know uh, even in the next 2 years 3 years running right so uh, so the, the the traditional methods in which they do this the returns are pretty low control is kind of okay and sustainability is high of course because once you build your network your customer base etc once you build your commissions where the insurance policies are getting renewed you're keeping making some residual income then sustainability is higher the third third column is sustainability okay in a job sustainability zero the day you get <laughs> fired zero income in manufacturing it is kind of there kind of not there in professional services sustainability is not there because your kids cannot <laughs> follow your profession unless they have the same degree right and in a knowledge business sustainability is there because you can create different different products uh, in order to uh, you know have have your customers buy them it can be taken over by a family member with minimal effort as well in a results based business also sustainability is there can be taken over by a family member once you built the built a solid base okay so r c and s okay returns control and sustainability okay returns control and sustainability hey vivek hi hey pradeep you're from mlm good good to know man okay now remember this <clears throat> remember <laughs> remember this guys you want a plus in all of these three and if you see any of these in none of these um in none of these uh, endeavors do you have a plus sign in any in all of these right so you want a plus in all of these three segments which is returns control and sustainability okay now we had spoken about in an earlier training the width approach versus the depth approach you could go width which is you could set up a retail centric environment which is mass production uh using a huge amount of inventory and then your secrets of success would be you need to have huge scale in your product line you need to have solid customer service you need to have you need to provide solid convenience to the customers home delivery you know uh toll free number in the middle of the night and all of that stuff okay same day delivery and things like that and then your 
trump card is if you understand the customer behavior which today is becoming an algorithmic game right today what is happening is people are basically reading customer behavior using algorithms so if you can somehow get your business digitized and get the algorithms to read customer behavior and have a marketing engine that markets to them what they want based on what they're doing on the internet then that's great if not then it's kind of becoming very very low profit then you have something called a depth approach which focuses on customer acquisition and retention that's where all the effort and all the cost goes and basically it is goes for things which have which are large complex goals things like financial planning retirement planning healthcare how to become a better parent how to play the guitar how to learn to be the number one pubg player these are complex skills and and what you got to do is you got to have customers motivated you got to have them progressing through different different products maybe they could uh, get a book maybe they could get a few cheat codes that they could buy from you maybe they, you could give them some live live stream training or things like that right and number 3 secret is the whole thing works with the community or tribe why because people want to hang out with other people who are trying to achieve the same complex goals so that the fa- during the failure phases they have other people who are you know who are there with them and it builds a lot of mojo and uh, momentum right and your trump card is going to be if you can consistently get your customers the results then that whole tribe will stick with you and people will know that you're a serious person and uh, over a period of time average customer lifetime value will improve which basically means over a period of time your customer acquisition costs will go down your profits will go up and you will become a brand in your industry average profit margins if you do this right are much higher than the width approach okay again if you want to know um, if you want to know deeper aspects that i may not be able to cover today because it's a small class then you can watch our master class online just start a frat.club forward slash product okay <clears throat> now let's come to the main thing hey vishal what's up what's up man great to see you here great to see you here okay some of my comments are a little delayed because <laughs> you know because the facebook the the live stream kind of is is a little delayed okay now what to sell how do you create your product portfolio the way you create your product portfolio is you need to have some physical goods and services whichever your core product is the physical goods or service that you're offering then you need to build an information product around it and then you need to build some services or community based or consultation based products around it okay why do you need to do that see the moment customers want to buy a product which is worth 5 grand or 10 grand plus yeah like 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 vivek over here who's watching it he's he's selling uh, you know he's selling his multimedia multimedia services as well as multimedia coaching to people the ticket size is upwards of 15000 rupees now the moment you pitched 15000 rupees people are going to say okay let me think about it let me do some more googling around it let me do some more amazoning around it maybe i can buy a book maybe i can watch it on youtube maybe i can do this that or the other okay now what you want to do is at that point in time you need to have a very low cost information product ready for them to have instead of googling and wasting your time and doing 30 days and then you know not being anywhere why don't you why don't you go with us spend this money with us and we'll provide you all the googling facebooking done for you <laughs> okay so that's why you want to have an info product kind of go with your physical products the third thing is a community and consultation products why because i told you if if the the market today is there for more complex problem solving okay all the simpler problem solving is done by amazon today if i want to have like if i want to buy bulbs i don't know what kind of bulbs will illuminate my office better i just go to amazon and there's like 40000 different options in all price ranges i want to test something out for like 200 bucks there's a bulb if i want to test something for 5000 bucks there's some led setup or something like that right so all the googling amazoning is done for me in amazon you know if i want to solve a small problem it's it's a simple click of a button they deliver today okay but if it's for complex problem solving that the market is hot people want to be healthier because definitely post covid people want to definitely make more money and be financially more stable people want to definitely pick up some skills they want to be better parents etc they want to have different different things so complex problem solving is a huge market today okay now what you want to do is in complex problem solving there will be long periods of time when they have to go with you and there will be steps in the process where they are definitely going to fail so what happens at that point is it's great if they have a community or consultation based which is access to you or access to other people who are in the same journey as them and that really adds to a lot of a uh, lot of confidence on their side okay hey pranay what's up what's up okay okay yeah you're welcome vivek man so uh, you know if you see that uh, if you if you see that this is 
kind of adding value, just let me know what questions you would like me to answer. I'll be more than happy to answer the questions which show up in about 40, 50 seconds time. It's a little delayed, uh, you know, or if, if there's any specific aspect you want me to talk about, just let me know in the comments column, okay? Uh, meanwhile, if you're finding this valuable, just write valuable in the comments box, yeah? Just write valuable in the comments box. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> now, what is the next? <clears throat> now, remember, when you build... When you build a four four legged stool or three legged stool, yeah, my old mentor, uh, you know, from my startup days used to say, never go to Sinha, never go to, never take a knife to a gunfight. He said, never take a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. So what people do is they have this one little product, they go to the market and they try to sell it. They don't understand that their their customer is basically looking out of the train window. Okay, this is the train window. And every, every moment of their day, they're looking out of this window, like passengers on a train. And you have this one little product, you're like one stall by the wayside and the train is passing by, yeah? On this phone, the thing is always moving. Yeah, things are always moving by, whether it's Facebook, Google, whatever people are doing, you know, uh, things are always moving. So if you have one little product and you're standing by the wayside and the train is passing, this is the train. Yeah, and it's moving at 100 kilometers per hour. You will not gather enough mind space in the customer's mind to be able to sell your product at scale to be able to make a profit. Yeah, that's why never take a knife to a gunfight. So what you want to do is now look at the RCS grid over here. For a consultation product, the returns are very high because today you don't need to travel. You can do consultations on Zoom. Nobody expects you to come to their house or office because too much risk of COVID and all that. So suddenly all the consultations have gone to Zoom. So as a consultant, if you do Zoom stuff, you know, the returns are high because you get paid for 30 minutes of your time, one hour of your time, depending on your rate, you could get paid from 1000 rupees to maybe 50,000 rupees. Yeah, for 30 minutes, one hour, whatever. Okay, then you have, then you have control. How much con control do you have? People who come to you as a consultant automatically know that you're an authority. That's why they're coming to you. So your control is very high, which basically means you can promote other products on the consultation call. Okay. The third thing is sustainability. Sustainability is not there in this particular product line because you're selling your time for money, which is the lowest form of <laughs> lowest form of doing business, selling time for money. It sounds very cool, but regardless of what your market rate is, it could be a lakh of rupees an hour, but the day you stop selling your time or the day you want to spend time with your family, all of that is non-productive time that is taking away from your billing time, right? So sustainability is not there, but definitely must do that in the short term. In a community-based product, the returns are not there because usually these community-based workshops and things like that have to be low cost because you have to get the community together. You have to get the community together. Yeah, they have to be low cost. So usually for a workshop, you know, even if it's like a baking workshop where people from a society or somebody, they get together on the weekend, you teach them some baking, you can't charge more than maybe 100, 200, 300 bucks. And that doesn't really make you a lot of money. But what you can do is you can cover that. You can have a camera person show up, you know, click nice pictures, get some interviews with the people who are participating and you can create it into a marketing material. The control around a community-based thing is very high because once the community gels with each other, you know, they, the whole community will have a life even without you. Okay. And the sustainability is also very high. The sustainability is also very high because of that. Okay. Then you have commoditized products and services, which is products and services that you sell inside of 5,000 rupees. The returns are low because obviously, you know, the, the rate of a commoditized product or service is not very high. If you see 99% of the products that sell on Amazon are priced inside of 700 rupees, right? Inside of 700 rupees, 99% of the products. Okay. And then you have control. <clears throat> The control is also very low because this is a highly transactional kind of a business person buys some stuff from here, then they buy some stuff from anywhere else. You know, there is no real loyalty, customer royalty. So your control is low. Okay. The sustainability is very high for a commoditized product and service because people are going to buy commoditized products and services all the time. Yeah, that, that's never going to go away. In our MLM days, we used to say <laughs> that yeah, people are always going to buy groceries and basic home care and personal care stuff. That's why most MLM companies, multi-level marketing companies are into, uh, you know, commoditized products and services. Okay, so <clears throat> sustainability is pretty high. Then you have a virtual how-to product, which is all of the research done around your basic product so that when customers want more information, they can literally pay you and actually get all the information all at one place. Hey, Sheikh Muzaffar, welcome, 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 welcome. Food business, I'll talk about that in just a second. Okay. Hey, Pratap, thank you for that uh, comment, man. Thank you, Harish. Okay. <clears throat> now, 
what is a virtual how to product once you roll it out the returns are very high because you have to create a virtual how to product only once let me just see if i have one of these nice little cds right okay the cd the cd set the cd set is from a very famous person physio physiotherapist in the us called dr karim samuri and he's got a little cd which is called 5 minutes to look younger Yeah, it's called five minutes to look younger. Now, before somebody contracts him for a two hundred dollar, five hundred dollar consultation, if they want to know what exactly do you talk about, how are you different, what he does is he says, "You just take this CD home. It's ten dollars. Take this CD home, okay, and watch it, and you'll get pretty much a very good idea of what you what what you and I are going to do together. And if you don't like the content, bring that CD back tomorrow. I'll pay you your ten dollars back." <laughs> so I got this in the US. when i was uh, when i was working in the us very famous guy called dr karim samuri if you ever walk by or if you ever want to you know he has these big workshops and stuff he has the weekend events and he also has personal consultations and stuff everything running into thousands of dollars but if you say him hey, and i want to know what exactly do you do he say just pick up this thing 10 dollars just go home and watch it and you'll come to know exactly what it, what what we do here what kind of products we offer etc and if you don't like this cd will give you a lot of value or you can start doing these workouts at home without even meeting us yeah but if you don't like what is in there it, it doesn't resonate with you it's not something you want to get into bring it back i'll give you your $10 back very simple man very simple okay now this virtual how to product $10 you need to create it only once you need to create it only once you can duplicate it forever because it takes less than a dollar to write a new cd and package you can give it to a company they'll create a thousand copies for thousand dollars yeah every time you sell one of these cds is basically 10 dollars straight 9 dollars a profit yeah very high returns the second thing is the control is very high with an information product because today what you can do is you can have all kinds of tracking etc built into it you can literally understand the customers emotions if you just have some basic pixel tracking cookie tracking built into it okay now if you would like to understand how the all this technology works how you can have ninja level techniques and get into the mind of your customer just hit that uh, link below startafrat.club/product it will give you a 40 minute super solid master class a free master class worth at least 10 to 15000 rupees value and at the end of that you will get our offer for the month if you want to uh, get to have work with our team or get to consult with me once or twice okay now <clears throat> sustainability the sustainability with a virtual how to product is low why is it low because information gets old with time information gets old with time if you see a lot of in this whole uh, you know a lot of uh, people ask you know coaches a lot of people ask me also man because i also have paid programs online right they say man uh, will i you know um, um, you know can i find this information on youtube you know can can i can i find get this information for free yeah yeah a lot of information you can find for free on youtube Uh, except that the timing is of great essence yeah most of these paid products are evolving much faster so what happens is the information that you get on youtube will typically be yesterday's information and you can't win in the share market by using yesterday's stock tip you need tomorrow's stock tip today right so information has to be upgraded along uh, uh, you know uh, very very frequently so that's why sustainability is low of of this kind of uh, product but you if you put a couple of uh, you know people behind it if you have maybe a, a web design designer or somebody or some content creators behind it you can pretty much stay ahead of the game okay so this is why you need to have this format of products physical goods plus community environment plus information products okay that is the secret now what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk you through a real life scenario i can't walk you through very much real life very many real life scenarios and a lot of the information etc we don't give out that easily but if you want to know about how people in the startup frat community uh, have been utilizing this kind of techniques to literally uh, dominate the market then just hit that link that startafrat.club/product right after this call okay now imagine if you were like somebody like a somebody obscure i'll talk to talk to you about a very obscure kind of a uh, environment let's say you're a you're a chess coach or a tutor i i use that <laughs> i use that analogy because I, i i really played that game very much when i was a kid i was a school champion later i became a college champion also okay so i'm a chess coach or tutor let's say you i said okay i will drop all of this i want to just teach chess to people okay i will not be able to sell that product in today's market for very many reasons now a lot of this will resonate with a lot of you guys even if you have hard products or different services because your products or services are probably outdated 
second nobody has the time or focus to engage with you on this front yeah nobody wants to learn chess really the third thing is people will say i have other things to do are better to work on major life issues than learn how to do camera work better to work on major life issues than you know do x y and z okay the fourth thing is it's boring the fifth thing is we are living in an era of tiktok and pubg yeah so people people are kind of the world is moving ahead of your products and services the fourth the last, next thing is pricing you will never be able to price it enough to earn a decent uh take home income for yourself and the moment you price it ahead people are going to say why should i pay you so much i'll just learn from youtube read a book or something like that okay so that is the reason uh you know you have all these barriers now if you are a product seller or a product maker if you are an entrepreneur or want to be entrepreneur you probably don't realize that uh, you know you're you're kind of uh, you know you have these problems but these are the problems why people you don't have mind share with the people and when you show up with your one little product or whatever you know the train is moving so fast that people don't think about it's like you you're sitting in a train looking outside there's some guy selling something it doesn't matter right <clears throat> so next give me one second let me just awesome next now now what you do first of all is you start with a sniper message which is why would somebody learn chess from you people would learn chess if they are growing children they need to expand their iq they will not want to do it but you can convince their parents that they need to do it yeah because there is an ever changing competitive environment outside and the education by the time this education they are out of school and college that education will already be outdated that's why they need to have certain Uh, methods built in to constantly sharpen their IQ, and one of the things is mind games like chess. Okay, and you can say even if they have an addiction to video games and aversion to social situations, I can really help them. Okay, you start with a sniper message. The thing that they're going to ask you, customer objection number one is, how do you do that? How do how will you help my kid improve their IQ? At which point you say, at which point you say, I have a consultation. You don't go with your coaching straight. You say, I have a consultation where. for 1500 rupees in 90 minutes i'll talk to you about the four the four best methods in order to help your children uh, you know improve their iq over long periods of time so that even when their school and college education is obsolete by the time they pass out nobody is going to get a college placement over here at least the iq will help them right at least the iq will help them okay so my consultation is 1500 rupees and in 90 minutes i'll tell you about the four best methods and what are the results now the here's the thing the price point is very important because for most people living in tier 1 or tier 2 cities for most people living in tier 1 or tier 2 cities instead of going doing all their amazoning googling and youtubing they might as well pay 1500 rupees they might as well pay 1500 rupees which is why you see a lot of people on facebook when they give ads for informational products you know five day workshop or come and do a master class the price point is inside of 500 rupees why because people are like okay instead of finding it out from youtube might as well pay this guy let's do it yeah so the price point has to be simple and easy okay the consultation gives you 1500 rupees and you automatically become an authority because somebody just paid you money to learn from you they come in in 90 minutes you give them super solid information what are the different ways to improve their iq how do you do aptitude tests how do you do mind games which includes chess how do you do, how do you improve your nutrition how does your uh, you know athletics and physical sports play into your uh, you know into your iq building because they build all kinds of competitive environment team play etc etc give them a good solid consultation uh, not only focused on your product yeah one of the big mistakes that consultants make is that they are so focused on promoting their own product that the consultation by itself is useless yeah so when you charge for a consultation make sure you give a good consultation three out of four scenarios should not lead to your product that is my rule of thumb what's my rule of thumb three out of four scenarios do not lead to my product okay they lead somewhere else you know all kinds of different things okay <clears throat> now when they say that i have taken this consultation from you i really appreciate it i got a lot of information lot of valuable information what do you think i should do next what recommend what do you recommend i do next then you can say that three out of these four i personally don't have any idea or i can recommend you to people i don't know how they work you need to find out for yourself but i can provide you the in the contacts of the industry leaders in the other three and in the fourth one we ourselves have a chess workshop which we do on the weekends we basically rent out any particular society's clubhouse and then we get all the kids together they play each other and then we rate the games and we have prizes it's a very good environment great place for your kids to spend a sunday costs about 4000 rupees a month for four workshops or 8000 rupees a month for four workshops you know Uh, that's a great place for your kid to start why don't you try for one month and then see how it goes right and then 
you charge them 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, one in four customers will convert. One in three or one in four customers will convert like this, provided that they have the paying power. If they're really interested and they have the paying power, you know, then they'll probably, they'll probably invest. Okay. Now what you're doing is you're getting paid to promote your product. You're getting paid to promote your product. Yeah. What is the product? The product is personal training but it doesn't come in yet. Yeah, what happens is the, the kid comes over to the workshops four or five times or something like that. You know, they play some games with their other compadres. They win some games, they lose some games and nobody likes losing. So the next thing the parents are going to come is, yeah, no, Ashish is doing very well. What we would like him to do or her to do is we would like them to win more games. Yeah, we'd like them to get better at this. So what do you recommend is the thing? What do you recommend is the thing? Over here also, you should always provide them certain resources say you know you should read this particular book that you'll find on amazon you should go to this youtube channel or something hopefully you have your own youtube channel and say we provide some free information or you can go to agath matters channel and read some of the they'll be able to start and if you want to hyper supercharge this process and save yourself a bunch of time we have a personal tutoring service where we tutor the kids for 2000 rupees per session i can guarantee you that in about 10 sessions time they will be at a different level. They could be playing into school or something like that. And the, and the parents agree here also, there's a conversion rate involved about one in five because now you're going really high ticket. 2000 per session means that even if they take five sessions, uh, you know, in a month, you're, you're charging them 10,000 rupees per month, right? So again, you, you basically funnel a bunch of customers into your main product, the personal tutoring service, which is your main product, yeah? but. The, what the difference is that the people that you're talking to are extremely highly qualified. Okay, going back to the CD, Dr. Karim Samuri does not waste his time selling his product to people. He says, here's a CD, it's $10, take it home, watch it, and it will immediately tell you what, you know, what, it, what is to be done. It'll give you a lot of information. The value in here is worth at least $100. And for some reason, if you don't resonate, you say, this is not the route I want to go to, bring it back, I'll pay you $10 back. Simple, simple. Now, the amount of people who buy the $10 CD and go through it, the quality of that crowd is very, very high. So when these people come, even if one in three or one in four convert for his weekend workshop, which is an exercise session or whatever, you know, the quality of that customer is so high that they are able to sell other things on the back of it, which could be supplements or, you know, other allied products. Okay. Uh, I uh, already gave you a few examples of how this works for different businesses in the previous trainings. So just, uh, just go back, scroll down in the hangout and watch previous training. Then you'll be able to figure out, uh, you know, how, how all of this stuff works. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, for the business owners and marketers, yeah, if this is valuable, just let me know in the comments box, what, what you like to find about what, what you, what you find most valuable about this session. Okay. I'm just reading your comments in here and, uh, <clears throat> Let me do the last part and then, then we'll go towards some more interaction. Okay, so personal tutoring service, 2000 rupees per session. Now, what happens is once they've taken a personal tutoring service, they've become a little better, etc. They want to expand outside your community. They don't want to keep doing the workshops. They don't want to keep doing this. They, whoever the one in 10 customers are, they want to expand outside. Remember, this is a growth game, which means at the end of the day, one in 100 customers will want to be really good at this. You know, one in 50 customers would want to be really good at this. While everybody is paying you, you got to serve those people. Okay. So what you do is you can have something like a placement product, or you can have something like a personal consultation. A personal consultation is a high end coaching. You could do, you know, 50,000 rupees a quarter, a lakh rupees a year or something like that. Or you can have a placement product, which is an app membership, chess.com kind of thing, you know, just create your own app. And the price for that is about 150 rupees per month. Again, you can do this two ways. You can take the price point up, go to a lakh of rupees a year if you if you have that self image to to protect that price point, or just have an easy to uh, you know easy to decide 150 rupees a month. Just they just put their credit card in your app, and they're able to kind of be a part of the community where you keep having fun stuff. And 150 bucks a month, nobody ever ever cares. Yeah, it's just like your Kindle. Prime membership, or this is just like your uh, Audible membership or YouTube Prime, 150, 160 bucks. Nobody cares. I, I don't remember when I took the Audible membership. I don't even listen to so many audiobooks anymore because I prefer YouTube Premium and I'm still paying 170 bucks a month for the last two, three years. Okay. So, <clears throat> Once again, if you want to understand how exactly to put all these together, just hit that link, the startupfrat.club forward slash product. You'll find the 40 minute masterclass, which will pretty much answer all your questions. However, for people who've been answering questions, asking questions over here, I'll just come to their questions in just a few minutes. Okay. Now, remember, 
we are basically changing the marketing approach there are two different approaches okay uh, one is a traditional approach and one is the one that startup frat recommends which is the digital which is the not the digital the demand generation approach yeah the demand generation approach okay uh, so what is a traditional approach a traditional approach is primarily product based this is my product here it is a, dig, uh, a demand generation approach is progression based which is here's my product here's another product here's another product depending on how how deep you want to dip your feet into it there are different different product lines right very very important traditional approach is transactional kirana wala mentality let these people footfall is there let the people spend keep spending money with me and i'm good as long as i have the footfall as long as i have the location i'm good but this sort of approach is not working in the slow down time because the footfall is not there suddenly and people just don't have that kind of money anymore right with a demand generation approach you've got a deeper level involvement which means somebody who has decided even during the lockdown that i learned how to do yoga at home it makes me feel great now the first thing that i'm going to do after lockdown is i'm going to get involved with the community that's going to help me get ahead very immediately you know you have access to their uh, to their budgets because these are things that people don't take lightly and the more the health situation gets worse or the financial situation gets worse the more serious people are going to become yeah because this is deep game maintaining your health over long periods of time is a deep game maintaining your finances over a long period of time with deep game learning how to do a business like multi level marketing or something a very deep game right it's is just not about you know just sign up for the scheme and you know just that sort of thing doesn't work people understand that they need to know the inside outs about how everything is done and they want to have a deeper involvement okay traditional approach discount and profit base you want a profit the customer wants a discount <laughs> demand generation approach it's about the average lifetime value of the relationship where people resonate with you they will invest with you again and again go deeper and deeper into your products because there is a value in that relationship similarly with you you are trying to screen out the customers and find the highest valuable customers using your information products or placement products or anything like that you you try to screen out the refraff customers and getting only the very serious customers and you're creating newer and newer product lines for the more and more serious customers okay traditional approach commoditized solution you want to wipe your kitchen with a mat that doesn't get wet or something 200 bucks on amazon finished okay demand generation approach is community based problem solving of complex issues complex problems that people face okay traditional approach high competition because anybody can get into it demand generation approach low competition why low competition because the people that will resonate with you will not resonate with other people people that will resonate with you will not resonate with other people okay uh, traditional approach mass production you have to have mass production to create low price points yeah that's how amazon who is the biggest mass producer on the planet amazon and china two people okay demand generation approach is you learn do and teach what do you learn you learn about what your customers want next you do it with your which means you implement it on yourself if it works you teach it to your customers okay or you bring them into your product lines that creates high value over time okay once again you want to hear about real life case studies of how people have implemented these approaches in different different industries startupfrat.club/product okay <clears throat> now when you hit that uh, link which is startupfrat.club/product you'll find a link to our 40 minute master class you see this kind of a screen you have the red button yeah you already watched this uh, this training with me so you don't need to watch these other videos just hit that red button book your slot and you will be able to access our master class okay this 40 minute master class at the end of which you're getting you're also going to get the access to if you want us to come and help you with it you want our services you want to have a consultation with me or something there are special offers only for the hangout members which is why this live class i'm doing only inside the hangout it's not being published anywhere it's not on youtube it's not on my facebook page nowhere else not on startup frat not on the blog nowhere this is inside the hangout because it's only for the hangout members that we have these special things going on okay if you found this valuable so so far just just write just write valuable or if you have any questions just write your questions in the comments box okay now <clears throat> muzaffar you had asked me about how do you do it in a food business see a food business is not about food anymore okay food business about themes okay food business is about themes in a food business depending on what you have a cloud kitchen or a restaurant there are there are there are uh, what you call it uh, there are uh, uh, heavy times and there are light times yeah in a restaurant the heavy times are friday night saturday night sunday afternoon okay the other times are lighter what about a, a cloud kitchen there are certain times which are heavier certain times which are lighter you want to find a theme 
which helps you attract a certain kind of customer who are in bad bad need of the of the of your services so for example healthy cooking at home is a big issue because lots of people lots of couples who were working uh, working couples who did not find the need to cook at home suddenly when they were locked down they realized i don't know how to cook and the food i'm making for myself is crap and i hate it right so what you want to do is during the downtime you want to have a workshop where you get healthy cooking and you teach it to people which could be men and women because even men need to learn how to cook now yeah and most men are now very very aware about the fact that they need to be good cooks so you bring them in you do the workshops you bring them in you teach them stuff you charge for the raw material you charge for the consultation or the event you cover that event with a basic i cover most of my events with a basic 1 plus 3 1 plus 6 camera right 1 plus 6 camera and you put it on your uh, put it on your facebook page run some paid marketing um, you know and have other people book the whole thing becomes a running thing every workshop or every successful this thing has customer testimonials and it has the the cover photos and videos go straight into facebook paid marketing always do paid marketing and yeah? none of this other stuff is posting on facebook and nothing the none, none of that bring money okay and then promote the next workshop and every workshop should be priced at 1000 bucks or 1200 bucks or 1500 bucks not very very expensive but still enough to make you a profit so what you are doing is you're collecting in one event you're collecting even if you have you know 20 people or something like that even if you collect 700 rupees profit of every customer okay you're collecting you know 15000 rupees in the in the down time which could be a thursday morning or something like that okay and then what you do is you create product, let's say you're teaching them how to bake okay then you have your own cakes lined out there okay so when they're learning how to bake imagine their cake goes bad they don't want to go home empty handed right so you say you can you know i'm sorry your cake went bad or whatever you can practice at home meanwhile on the way out just pick up my cake or something like that now that cake that they're picking out on the way out is high profit yeah because you make it for 200 bucks and they want to buy it for 800 bucks or something like that so you can really spin this stuff and keep that community very close together okay so in our um, in our community in up uh, in our uh, launch community which is where people are working with us to launch their startups etc we have many many case studies where people have utilized team building with a down market like a restaurant or a lounge and made it perennial which means every single day they are having a party every single day they are having a full house okay if you have a cloud kitchen what can you do you can have healthy meals delivered to home for work from home uh, couples along with their family they have the kids over there you can have you can have a theme which says specifically for work from home couples you know healthy stuff for kids easy to digest stuff for the for the working couple and extremely low calorific value so they don't feel drowsy so you have a lunch theme and you can have a dinner theme so people who are buying the lunch theme they like it the same and this is amazing i'll buy the dinner theme also the dinner theme can be more caloric intensive and high nutrition the lunch theme can be more of salads and stuff and low caloric values value so when they eat they don't feel sleepy okay and they immediately realize the value of this meal over any other meal okay and you can do family packs for kids and things like that and that's how you advertise yourself you can even advertise on swiggy or zomato that's no problem but you need to stand out from all those millions of people who are there in the food business as, as well okay so we have we have lots of people in our community who have been able to successfully turn around a food business um If you watch this master class, which is startupfrat.club/product, you'll get to see some of those case studies and everything. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, Harish is saying I'm waiting for your invitation to talk to you, sir. We will absolutely do it. Just give me another day or so. Friday we will do it. Okay, it's my commitment to you. We'll do it this week. No, not to worry. Okay, so I owe you a consultation, Harish. Uh, I'll you will you will you will definitely have it. Thank you, Pradeep. Thank you very much. And uh, <clears throat> one last thing, if you are a if you are a dsa multi level marketer sales agent home loan person lic person then i have a live webinar 2 hours tomorrow uh, so you just hit this link which is startupfrat.club/webinar and you can get to meet me tomorrow for 2 hours so this is specifically for dsas direct selling agents multi level marketers affiliate marketers lic agents mutual fund salesmen if you are selling a branded product where your stature is not as much as the product stature so immediately people are going to say okay let me google you let me just you know find another agent to give me a discount or something like that if you're in that kind of an environment then you can hit this link which is startupfrat.club/webinar 
okay and you can get to meet me tomorrow on a live webinar there'll be more than 2 300 people there tomorrow and uh, you know there'll be some super solid training and once again we'll have our uh, offers of the month which are specific only to the startup frat hangout if you want to work with us and build out these product lines okay so that's it from my side i hope this was a value if you're watching a uh, if you're watching a uh, recorded version of this training uh, you know, on the Facebook Hangout, do send me, send me some love and comments, send me the heart symbol. So I know that you found this valuable, even if you watch this after the training is closed down. Okay, so that is it from my side. I look forward to seeing you later during our uh, recorded trainings and live trainings. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.